Hi, John Gerard, campus president of Strasburg College, here with you again. I told you I'd be back later today. Again, we're talking about some of our veterinary technology programs here and some of the courses that are in that program. Oh, we're familiar with CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. Well, we have our own type of investigation unit here. Uh, we have a three-course sequence that deals with animal pathology, uh, looking at slides, getting in the labs, and examining uh, disease and infections. So we have, um, we have our microbiology, which is our first course in that sequence. We're going to be going in the microbiology lab and introduce you to Diane Zarka, who is the faculty member that teaches most of our, um, our animal science investigations courses here. Uh, we also have two layers of what they call clinical pathology, clinical pathology one and clinical pathology two. Um, so in a minute or so, we'll, we'll dive in there. But obviously, uh, as part of being a vet tech, not only do you do the animal handling, but there's a lot of science behind it, a lot of uh, investigation into uh, what is affecting that animal uh, pathologically. So um, I kind of gave in front of this board just to show you the different parasites that uh, students and staff will come across in their studies as well as some of the technology they'll use. They'll use compound microscopes. They'll do um, some staining of slides, uh, a variety of things that they do. Okay, so let's jump into the lab. We'll talk with uh, Mrs. Zarka, and then I'll... ...to get antibiotics. A little bit of bacteria is normal. We also may be seeing some yeast. Anybody had coffee this morning, sugar, on cereal? Mm -hmm. We may be seeing some crystals in her mouth. Okay. But right now, we're using this to focus on the size. Our cells are exceedingly large compared to the bacteria that we may be seeing. You're also going to be adjusting your light source, depending on if you have a stained sample as opposed to an unstained sample. In unstained samples, you'll need a lot less light. And then also, you'll learn that um, there's a reason that we do the staining of the cells. It makes it much easier to see. And you certainly have seen them. So right now you will be describing these as to epithelial cells, the nuclei in them. If you see some other little purple, what we call inclusion bodies, probably the organelles of the cells. The bacteria will be the smallest things that you see, and they'll be very tiny and very dark purple. Okay. Did I interrupt for a sec? Of course. Okay. Um, doing a live uh, stream on Facebook and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about not only this lab that these students are experiencing, mm -hmm. which is microbiology, at yes. the first level mm -hmm. of uh, what we call animal science investigations right. out on the board, mm -hmm. but also I, I know there's ClinPath 1 and ClinPath 2, so mm -hmm. could you kind of, kind of walk a potential student or somebody that's interested in this field uh, through what they would experience and what these students are experiencing? We started here in microbiology, and basically we're still learning how to use the scope very efficiently. Then we'll go ahead and basically with this class we're learning about infections, bacteria that we might find in the body, and we're identifying them. The next class, finally called Poop Lab, okay. we will be learning about the parasites that might invade our animal companions, also urinalysis, UTIs, things again that might impact the health of our animals. The third one is called ClinPath 2, aka hematology, cytology, where basically we're studying diseases of the blood. You might be determining anemias, again infections, even leukemias. And then we'll be doing some of the cytology where we can see changes in the cellular makeup of the body. That we use a lot when we're doing the ester cycle of our canine friends, so we know when they can come into breeding. Interesting. It is. Exciting. Um, so with that, we're going to kind of exit so we, these guys can get back to work.